Greetings, YTPC. It's Peter Piper, the True Light, coming to you on a Saturday evening at 19 hours and 26 minutes Eastern Standard Time, minus 4 hours Greenwich Mean Time for my global subscri subscribers. Heh. Oh, uh, yeah. I've got a new pipe. Show that to you there. That is a pipe that I bought from Eddie Gray at the Pipe Nook just this past week. And it is a Rossi, which it, I have come to find out is a subsidiary of um, Savinelli. And I have to say, um, I searched the various pipe uh, websites, high and low, for this exact style of pipe. It, and what I wanted was, I wanted a billiard pipe. Um, but this is not classified as a billiard. And I've come to learn that uh, a billiard with a longer stem, as it were, is considered a Canadian pipe. Mm -hmm. It's actually, um, the stamping on it says that it's a uh, Rubino Antico, fine Italian pipe. It's got a beautiful finish on it. I'm not sure if you can really get a idea of the, uh, the finish. I got the sun in the back of me. Um, but it is a very nice high gloss finish on here and the bowl is uh, something I wanted also because it's a it's a really big bowl the volume of it is much bigger than oh just about all my pipes and it's also wider I've got some big pipes but they have a more narrow bowl this has a nice, wide, billiard-like bowl, and even with a uh, uh, a ribbon-cut blend, smokes for a nice long time. And I love the look at the look of it. I really like the way it blends in with my face made for radio. Uh, having an evening cocktail, my traditional uh, green all gin martini, dry of course, blue cheese stuffed olive, and a cocktail onion. Also got some matches from Eddie at the pipe nook. Eddie, if you're watching, I could use about a case of these. But, what a deal. Oh my goodness. This is a quality pipe. I mean, you can just look at it and tell that it's quality. There's no gap between the uh, stem and the uh, shank of the pipe. Uh, it matches really well. It's a 6 millimeter filter. I use the 6 millimeter balsa wood filter by Savinelli. Smokes cool, it smokes great. So if you're on the price is right, what would you call the price of a pipe like this? 66 bucks. And five and change shipping. So what? This this is my favorite pipe right now. Really nice. And in it, lest do I forget, smoking some Peterson Mixture 965. Haven't had this in a long time. And, uh, 
pipes and cigars had a sale on Peterson blend, so I cashed in on that. Got the three peas, um, some of this, 965. Mm, what else? I think I bought one, at least one more Peterson blend. I can't think of what it is now. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. But any, anyway. Need a real light. Four. Five. I got tendonitis in my thumb from using this stupid lighter. I've got to revise my review on it on uh, pipesandcigars.com. I've been told you get what you pay for, but this Bengal Slices lighter is going to be given a proper Christian burial. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I got kind of nice in my damn thumb. How many times does it take to light it? Let's see. And I got the flame turned all the way up. One. Five. So what else can I complain about? I don't know. Memorial Day weekend. Of course. Let's remember those who have fallen in the line of uh, defense for our country. It's not just about barbecues and days off. Interesting statistic. My uncle, who is a uh, former Army uh, combat veteran from Vietnam, he was in Special Forces, and he sent me some interesting statistics from the VA, and what's interesting about it is the non-combat deaths in just about every war the United States has had since the Revolutionary War have exceeded uh, combat deaths. Let me repeat that. Non-combat deaths exceed combat deaths for people in the military. Something to think about. When you think about all the training exercises that go on, And uh, I imagine that includes the uh, death from disease that may or may not be related to uh, uh, active duty um, environment or conditions. But if you want those statistics, I'd be happy to email them to you. Um, these are official documents from the VA. Um, my email address is the same as my uh, name on the on the uh, it's Peter Piper True Light at uh, gmail dot com. Nice evening here in uh, southern Rhode Island. Cool. We've had a fair amount of rain. I'm trying to plant grass seed and get the uh, lawn back in order. I'm trying to get ready for uh, an entertainment event on the uh, 4th of July weekend. First time we've entertained in quite a while.
So, just going over 10 minutes. Won't keep you long. Really love this pipe. Take care, folks. Remember, always speak the truth. Seek enlightenment, and God bless. Peter Piper, the True Light, signing off. Take care, folks, and have a great weekend.